I think that's working. Hi guys! I need to stop looking in the viewfinder. Welcome back to my channel. I mean, I say this every video and then I don't end up loading the video because I get lazy and then I can't be bothered to edit it and blah blah blah. However, 2020, new year, new me. Um, I'm going to be uploading, I'm putting this out there so that I have to follow through, like I'm promising it. So, I'm going to be uploading an IGTV on a Monday and a Wednesday and a YouTube video on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Sunday. That's five days worth of content for you guys. I mean, half of you probably don't want to watch me for five days, so it's going to inconvenience you lot to have my face everywhere. But those of you that do, you're welcome. So, today I'm coming to you with an ASOS haul. Um, ASOS is like, ASOS and Pretty Little Thing are my go-to app orders, like online orders. Zara, as much as like I have friends and stuff that shop online at Zara, I don't really shop online at Zara. I like to go in because I feel like the VM, like the visual merchandisers who do it online, like the style of things are really strange. Like, I would not style half the stuff like that. So I like to go in, see it for myself, you know. But ASOS is my go-to for most things. So 2020 here, I was like, okay, I need new, I need a few new staples, a couple of jackets, blazers, a set pair of trousers that just go with most of my wardrobe, a couple of tees, tanks, things like that. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with just the basic things that I got. So I got this. This These are two for 18 from Topshop. I've actually got no trousers on, so I can be careful how far up I stand. Um, they sit just above the belly. So these little crop sort of top things, I wouldn't really call them a crop, are really nice. The neckline and everything is really, really nice. I've got two of those. It's two for 18. I've got a black one and a white one. I just love how high it sits. Um, like every day. I don't have to wear a bra with it, which is really nice because I don't have very big boobs. So I think it is really important when you have. Is there a decolletage? Breast shelf. When you have. Sorry, I've got ASOS packaging on me. Um, when you have a smaller breast shelf, uh, I think it's important to wear tops that flatter you. Uh, so you can feel a bit more confident about your smaller breast shelf. Uh, I love having small boobs because I can not wear a bra with tops like this, which is great. So I got this in black. I also got the wee little thing in, in white as well. I got these in a size 8 because I wanted them quite snug. I didn't want them gaping or anything, especially if I'm not wearing a bra. That would just be tragic. So those two. I like to have vests. I wear a lot of vests. Over t-shirts, really. I feel like vests you can layer on. Um, I quite like this whole area of me. So I like to have that out a bit. Um, people say I've got swimmer's shoulders because I'm quite broad. Do you not think I'm quite broad? I can't really work out if I'm broad or not. But I don't know. I kind of like them. So I wear a lot of vests and things. Um, Topshop do amazing little basics like two for this, two for that, whatever. So did ASOS actually. I thought they were ASOS own run, but they weren't. They arrived and they were Topshop, so I'll be getting myself down there. I want one in grey, like a stone grey. Might be quite cute, so I'll have to see if they do this in the store. Uh, next, I got, in terms of basics, I love Adidas. You'll see in my January faves, which will be coming to you, uh, that I have a lot of Adidas stuff. Like, this whole separate thing of the haul, but like a JD bag full of Adidas clothes. But this, however, was from ASOS. It's a tiny little white crop. Really, really cute. I don't actually know how much that cost. There is no tag on it. How much was it? This is in a small, uh, I quite like the long sleeves on this. It, it comes to about here when I tried it on. Uh, I think it's really, really sweet. I like the fact that it's stitched rolled up because I often roll my sleeves up anyway. I just think it's a basic, like you can chuck this on um, with blue jeans, black jeans, cycling shorts, even like a skirt. Like I would probably wear this with like um, a black slip skirt and a red lip, maybe. I don't know, because it's white and black, you can contrast it. I might even work with a floral skirt. Like you complete, you can completely mash it up if you want to. Like I really like clashing patterns, so I'm not going to do a try on um, because uh, I've got red lipstick on and I can't trust not to get that all over my clothes and I'm taking them on and off. And also, um, I am going to get a few pictures of these actually on the gram, so you can see them in action. I mean, the dress I'm about to show you, I'm actually going to wear out to dinner, so you'll see that in action. Um, I've kind of got a lunch, like brunchy date tomorrow thing with my friends, so I'm thinking of wearing this. But you'll see over the few days how I style them. I think it's best for me to actually style them naturally. Camera died. Fab. I had it on charge overnight as well, that's a bit of a mistake. But as I was saying, no, um, I do like a crop top just because 
you can see my scars with the crop top, yeah, and the scars are scars, so I'm not really bothered. And I kind of like having them out in a weird way because it's like something I've been through. But also, I don't really wear... If I wear a crop top, I wear high waisted trousers. I never really had my stomach out before I had a bag, so I'm not... Do you know what I mean? Like, I just love a crop top. It takes me in at the waist, especially because I'm not the curviest of girls. All my trousers are high waist. However, I do want the ones that sit, like, low on your hips, like J-Lo vibes. That's the next uh, trouser purchase of choice. Don't know who I think I am. I feel like I'm that person that thinks she can pull off everything and anything, but actually when she gets on, she looks like a couch potato. Because there, <laughs> there are some looks, right? I go into Elle's room, and Ella is brutally honest with me. So I walk into Elle's room and something, and she's literally like, no, get it off. I'm like, why? She's like, get it off. And there's me, I wear like a green chunky knit vest. Like I have this like neon green little crop vest with like a floral skirt and pink converse. Cause I kind of like clashing colors. So I'll throw it together and be like, oh my God, cool. And she's just like, no, you look like you got dressed in the dark, get it off, really boosts my confidence. Next, I got this cute little dress. This to me is like the cutest thing. I love a ruffle. It's just a little floral mini dress. No one wants to speak to me ever. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> Hi. Question. Yeah. Question. Okay, look, I'm gonna go and I'll probably, you do your little video and then I'll probably bring you back half it. You do your little video, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you do your little, you do your little hobby. <laughs> and I'll call you back for the real adult stuff. <laughs> you play your games, you play with your toys. <laughs> Love you. Love you, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> I am recording! No, I'm starving! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got Meg, please tell me. What do you want to eat? No, I don't want to eat. Pepe is. No. I don't. Fuck it. I will have a Big Mac meal with a full fat Coke, large, um, and some mozzarella dippers. Mm. I'm partial to a McFlurry. Oh, yeah. Smarty! Easy. Easy. Thank you so much. As I was saying, so it sits and it plunges. And then as you can see in the middle, it's like all these ruffles and then it comes out to a tiny little like pulley thing. It's really cute. It's got balloon sleeves. I just think that's a whole look. That with like, a simple strappy heel, like a really simple strappy heel that legs oiled to the gods. I probably just have my hair like this, to be honest, which is just blow dried. A gloss. I wouldn't really have a coloured lip with this because the dress speaks for itself. Like, that is just, I'm here for this. And that was only, oh my God, is it threaded? I literally just got this ASOS order today and it's breaking. Oh, I got that in 10 and I think it was like, I don't need to, I need to know, I think this might have been actually quite expensive. So the vests were two for 18, the Adidas crop was 18, the dress was 48. So that's nearly 50 pounds for a dress, but I just think it's so cute. See, this is what's weird. My style used to very much be um, like white and black, just plain white and black clothes, simple, even on holiday, like little white summer dresses, just white. And now I'm just obsessed with colour. Anything that's like clashing, I'm like, here for it. Here for it. Which leads us beautifully. It's literally like, what's the saying? Going through butter with a hot knife. Like a hot knife through butter. It's just, that transition was maybe really smooth. But it wasn't. But this is, look at this blazer. This blazer is from Pull and Bear. ASOS still though, but it's Pull and Bear. And it is Czech. And it is just awesome. Like, I wanted a dog tooth black and white blazer, but I saw this and I was like, no, this will do. This will do perfectly. It goes with this makeup right now. Just goes with my nails. What's black, white, and red all over? Me, and also a newspaper. And it's just fitted and it's gorgeous and it, it has shoulder pads, but they're not very like um, prominent shoulder pads. I'm just here for it. This can be worn with the Adidas T underneath it and a red lip do you see where i'm going with this do you see that do you see because i see i'm really enjoying this haul 
I'm really happy with my purchases. This fits really nice as well, which you will see if you go on my Instagram because I'm actually gonna wear this, I've decided. I'm gonna wear this with the Adidas tee to brunch tomorrow. It's happening, don't care. Which leads us on to our next piece. It doesn't leave us on at all, actually. It's just a completely different piece. This is a pair of trousers, but these are so nice. These are weekday. If you don't know about weekday, you need to get to know about weekday because it, it, weekday trousers for the long-legged gals like me, five for eight, ooh, they do the best trousers. Now these, I don't even know if you can see, they're like cord. I don't know if you can see that. They're like a really, really nice cord. I just love them. They're just amazing. I love a cord trouser, but they're like a really subtle cord and they've got this really nice you probably can't see, but it's got this like tiny bit of piping all the way down the front, down the center. So they're not skinny, they're straight leg, like boot cut kind of, but this is where we get funky. Okay, look at this. <gasps> wow. Do you see this? I just love a trouser that has a slit. Like I've got those jeans that everyone has at the moment with a slit up the side. Well, these bad boys have a slit up the front, which is sick because it means I can wear these and I can wear my Air Force, shock but I can wear a really cool pair of socks. I have a pair of socks that have like a slice of pizza on the ankle. I can wear those with that open and you can just see the little slice of pizza. Or I can just wear a fresh crisp white pair of Nikes. Bang, you can see the tick as I walk on my sock. Like, I just love that. And they also kind of open out into a flare if you, if you want them to be a flare. Weekday trousers, honestly, and they are so high-waisted. Not like high-waisted where you're having to constantly hoik them because they're just at your belly button. They sit comfortably over the top of my belly button, above my belly button. They're so high-waisted. You can see how long the flyers are. Like, oh my God, just an amazing purchase. They're like a size eight. They proper do squeeze me in mind. I can't go for a roast in those. I could go for a few cocktails. I could go for a few cocktails in them. I could go do a bit of a clove shop in them. Maybe finish up with Vapiano, but I'd have to undo my flies but they were 45, which is not bad. And I have two more pieces. These are jackets. One is very generic. A lot of people have it, but I just need, I just wanted it in my wardrobe as a staple. Shirt with the belt. This can be worn as a jacket, can be worn open. I think it's long enough just to be worn as a dress with heels. I was thinking this slick pony, red lip, cycling shorts and a heel. Or this, I just love the belt. The belt is what, the belt is just what carries the whole bloody piece, isn't it? Let's be quite frank. This with the belt, black. I've got some black jeans from Joseph Women. These are the gabardine trousers. And then I've got some really nice shoes that I got sent by Simi Shoe and they're like a snake skin pointed heeled ankle boot. So like, but they're black snake skin. So it's all just a big black look. That could be out for drink vibes. Or I could swap those just for a classic pair of docks, throw on a little, crossbody or I've got like a little pearl handbag and like that pink lip statement earrings of some form bam buzz your uncle off i go just out for the day you know to the park bowling mini golf although i have really bad luck with mini golf because i go on dates to mini golf and then i never get a call back and it only seems to be the dates that i go on to mini golf but anyway um side note lastly is this big old shearling boy i'm gonna do her up him her whatever gender neutral right it's 2020 can we see that? That is a bad boy coat. Old school aviator. Love it. It's got sheepskin all inside it, even inside the pockets. Like, even inside the pockets. Like, that is... If that's not comfort, I don't know what it is. It's literally the coziest thing in the world. And the biggest collar, which I like to have up because it's huge, then I sort of fold the front down so it sits like this. Let me show you. I'll give you a little sneak peek because I didn't try on anything else. If I was to have this on, oh god, let's just... I have the collar up and then the front piece is down so it sticks at the back. See how badass that is? £75. But that was... It's so warm. Like I'm, getting, I'm getting sweaty now. Was it worth it? I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel with that one. I might send that back. I don't know. I love it, but like I have a lot of coats. So I feel like I have loads of other coats in my wardrobe that I would start without. If I start with that, so is that just a wasted £75? So that was my ASOS haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you a bit of inspiration as to getting yourself some 2020 staples just to start the year off right because everyone needs a refresh of the wardrobe in the new year. So I hope you enjoyed my channel. Do you want cheese dippers? Because they don't have mozzarella dippers. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, she's she's the first. I hope you are. Uh, oh, hey, how's it going, guys?
say guys. goodbye to my channel again. Say goodbye with me. Say thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. She's hungover as fuck. So bad. I think she got in about an hour ago, and it is ten past four in the afternoon. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Hope you enjoy my first video of 2020. Hope you all had a good new year and you've had a great start to the year.